Hi, it's Ami Gelman with a quick message from Team Mayim. Water is extremely important to survive. Let's say you're stranded in a hot desert in Ari Hersher's home state of Arizona. What are you gonna need? The most important thing in that desert in Ari Hersher's home state of Arizona is water. Furthermore, life on earth revolves around water. Water provides humans with transportation, energy, and anything else you can imagine. Ingenuity with water, this <laughs> anything you can think of, water can be used. Another point, the, the majority of earth is covered in water. I'm no scientist. I'll leave that to Mrs. Hill, but I'm pretty sure the earth is covered by 77% of earth is covered with water. And my final point about why water is so absolutely fantastically amazing is that if there was no water on earth, all humans would die within three days and animals and plants would follow after and there would be no life on earth anymore. Go Mayim! My name is Ben Abner from Team Mime, and here are some interesting educational facts about mime. Water is the only naturally occurring substance that exists in all states of matter, solid, liquid, or gas. 97% of water found on planet Earth is undrinkable. Water regulates the temperature of the Earth. Most fresh water is found in ice in icebergs. Some water might have come from comets. Water expands by 9% when frozen. 75% of your brain is water. One drop of water has thousands of living organisms inside of it, and water weighs about eight pounds per gallon. As you can see, water's pretty cool. Go Team Mime! Let's go blue. Go Mime! Water is very spiritual for many reasons. First of all, includes many mitzvot, like the mikvah and tashlich, and it also plays a really big role in a lot more mitzvot. Also, Hashem decided to use water as the first plague in Misraim, where all the water turned into blood, and the Egyptians basically had to pay the Jews for water. And the third and final thing that I'm gonna show you is that if you look at the satellite map of Israel, <laughs> Um, if you look at the map, every single country around it has a fresh water source. Maybe not Jordan, but everyone else. Syria has a nice amount of water up here. Lebanon has water. Egypt has the Nile River. Turkey and Iran and stuff out up here have lots of water, lots of fresh water. But Israel, it's just this little sliver of land that's basically all desert. And you can't really drink the Mediterranean Sea or the Dead Sea for obvious reasons. Uh, but the only thing you could really drink is the Galilee, the Sea of Galilee, and uh, that's just not enough to sustain a whole nation. So why did Hashem choose Israel out of all places, uh, even though it has absolutely no fresh water at all besides the Sea of Galilee? Uh, the reason is, is because he wanted us to pray for water and want to show how holy water is. Why do you think we pray for water for Israel and for everywhere, for in the holiest prayer of the day, the Shemona Esrei. It's because water is super holy. Go Mayim! Playing with water is really fun. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Mrs. Wilkin, is this cup half empty or half full? <laughs> it's two thirds full. Cup is always half full. Miss Wilkin, yes. is this cup half empty or half full? I would say half full. Cup is always half full. Miss Mogiras, 
Is this cup half empty or half full? It is half full. Cup is always half full. Mrs. Strong, is Hi. this cup half empty or half full? That cup is half full. Cup is always half full. Mrs. Roper, is this cup half empty or half full? Half full. Cup is always half full. We have like <laughs> this one. One. Is this cup half empty or half full? It's half full. Cup is always half full. Mr. B. Mr. B. Mr. B. Is this cup half empty or half full? It is half full. Cup is always half full. Mora Shirley, at Kosaze, Hatsi Male, or Hatsi Rahok. Rek. Rek. Oh, let's do it again. Akos Hatsi Male. Akos Tamid Hatsi Male. Mr. Anderson, is this cup half empty or half full? Why can't it be both at the same time? State of superposition. Cup is always half full. Ms. Malala, is this cup half empty or half full? I think it's half full. Cup is always half full. What? Mr. Stroll? Yes. Is this cup half empty or half full? It's definitely half full. <laughs> cup is always half full. Go blue, go Mayim. Mr. Opar, yes. is this cup, is, okay, restart. No, keep going. <laughs> no, Mr. it'll Opar, be funny. Is this cup half empty or half full? Well, it looks like it's about three quarters full and a quarter empty. Cup is always half full. Playing in the water is really fun. Oh, you, I do it now? Right. But I'm, is it? I'm Ben from Team Mime. Here are some educational facts about Mime. Let's, Let's go, go Mime! Mime.